Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Color Stack. In this video, we are analyzing the recent event, Cricket ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024, in which India won the World Cup. And we will analyze the matches, some data, some kind of correlation between various variables. So from Kaggle, we can download the data. I will provide the link of this uh, sheet in the description, link of this data set in the description. And this is the data. First, let's see all the variables that we have here. So here we have date in this format. We have venue, we have first team, second team, at which stage of the match. Then we have toss winning or toss winner, you can say. Then we have toss decision, like it's building or batting, whatever it was. Then what was the first innings score? This fall of wickets. Second innings score. If the match could not happen, we have rain here. Then ball of wickets in second innings, winners, who was the winner? I think, uh, it should be winner actually, but let's see. We can rename these columns as per our liking, which we'll do later. Now, winner prediction was that whether it was a normal match or the Kurt Lewis, Lewis system was applied or not. So this is given in methods. And whether the team won by wickets or runs, it totally depends whether they are betting first or second. And if it was wickets, what was the winning margin? If it was runs, what was the winning margin? So we can apply filters to see which team has won by most number of wickets on an average, which team has won by most number of runs. On an average, those type of things can be discovered in the data. Who was the top scorer in that match? And what was the highest score? Who was the best baller? And what was the best bowling figure or total number of wickets take? So this means that Aaron Jones here made 94. Virat Kohli in the last match in the final made 76. So this is this data. And best bowling figure runs received. So this is for how many runs they took these many wickets and who was the player of the match. So we have this data. Obviously more people will be working on data and more variations of this data will come and we will be analyzing all of that. So please subscribe to our channel to see more sports analysis videos. In this video, let's connect it with Power BI. So we have already connected the data with Power BI. And uh, in this video, the first thing that we are going to analyze is we are going to analyze whether the toss winner this was actually asked by a student whether the toss winner was a winner so uh, it will be very simple and it will be in various parts so in this part we will analyze for example usa won the toss in the first game it was against canada they took fielding and winner of the match was also US. So that means in their case, toss winner was the match. In Afghanistan, Namibia, Sri Lanka, when Sri Lanka won the toss, they selected batting. But South Africa actually won. That happened in the final match also. So Toss winner was India. They, okay, they selected batting. They won the match. So in various matches like here, toss winner is not equal to 
winner. So how can we do something like this? This is a very basic tutorial for beginners. So in such cases, first we are seeing the table view. The table view, you can see every match has a unique ID. We can call this match number as a unique ID for second, third, and fifth. Ticket. So this is there, and we have all these columns. What if we simply apply a condition that if toss winner is equal to match winner, then write true, otherwise write false, and then we can also write zero and one. We can write true and false, and then simply calculate how many number of trues are there and how many number of false are there. So let's analyze this. So we'll rename toss winner is match winner. So we will go to modeling and create a new column here. Let's call this column TW MW. Toss winner is match winner. We can call it anything. Now First, we'll select our table, so ICC means World Cup, and find that column where you have toss winner. So this is toss winner, and we'll use two equal to signs, which means a comparison match winner. So this one equal to is assignment operator. We are assigning this calculated column condition to this particular variable. So a new column will be uh, created and it will run a loop on each and every row of this data set and it will compare these two columns so icc toss winner is equal to winner so it will compare these two columns and if the condition is true it will write true else it will write false so this way you can create a column with boolean values and click this check mark if you have any error in your dax query you will see some kind of indication here if you are not seeing anything like that that means our query is running fine now we have this t m w cross winner match winner now go to columns go to table view and see we have this column. For example, let's let's now verify. So we have several trues and falses here. So in first case, we know that toss winner is match winner. So true. Let's see false. This may be match of Sri Lanka and South Africa. Yes. So here winner is South Africa, but actually Sri Lanka won the toss. Okay. So winner is Shila. So this kind of verifies that our calculated column is working fine. Now we can analyze it with pie chart or donut chart. We can also create a simple table, but let's analyze it with donut chart. So in donut chart or pie chart, first you have something to add as a legend. By legend, it we mean color. So this column will add as legend. The false will be given a separate color and true will be given a separate color. Now, what will, what will be the value? In value, we actually have to count how many trues are there and count how many falses are there. So in such cases, you should have a column that is an identity or that, that has unique value for every row. If this was not there, then we would have created a, again a calculated column and just filled the rows with starting from range one to whatever the end range is. So in our chapters of DAX queries, we have already explained that. So we have dedicated classes of Power BI. We take online classes. So if you are interested in learning from scratch, then you can contact us as well. You can write in the comment section. 
or you can contact us on the website provided in the description. So having a column like this is very important in such cases. And now what you will do is just drag match number in values and it will automatically make the calculation as count of match number because there are 55, 56 matches, right? So you cannot put all values there. So it is an aggregation. So you can go count. You can also do count testing. In this case, count and count testing be the same thing. Suppose these IDs are repeated for one match, we have more than one record. In such cases, you, you, have, you can go with count testing. Okay. So count testing and now you have the answer actually. So you can see in 31 cases, like in 56% of cases, it was true. That means cost winner was the match winner. And in 43% of the cases, it was false. So we can say that if we if we summarize the tournament, most number of teams who won the toss, they also won the match. In fact, in World Cup final, India won the toss and ultimately they won the match also. So we'll come up with more short analysis like this. Very, very short uh, you know, exploratory analysis with Power BI. So that you can learn chapter by chapter, you can learn different things. And as I said, this for absolute beginners. So, but if you are a pro, then also you can enjoy. So, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe so that you can get the notification of next video.